Can you believe it? We've been preparing, preparing, waiting, and waiting. It has arrived on Monday. The solar eclipse will be here. And the Lorraine County Metro Parks Equestrian Center would be the place to come here in LaGrange. Bev Walborn, I know you are so excited about this as well. We are thrilled and we have been waiting, waiting, waiting as well. So we're here at Carlisle Reservation, the Equestrian Center on Diagonal Road in LaGrange. And you can tell by all this open space, this is going to be the perfect mm -hmm. spot to watch the solar eclipse coming up on Monday. It's it's almost here. It's almost here. And I'm telling you, this it's beautiful out here. And you're going to be having some fun with it too that day, correct? Absolutely. So Lorraine County Metro Parks is hosting a viewing party here a viewing event and uh, we will be passing out free solar eclipse glasses for everyone in attendance here so bring your bring your lawn chair come on out find a spot in the field we're also going to be selling you know snacks we've got restrooms here and we also have our Black River astronomical folks at the Nielsen Observatory with the telescopes that is clutch I feel like that is something that really makes you guys stand out because the fact that they have these amazing telescopes you have some in here some out in the field as well mm -hmm. correct correct so we'll have members outside of the um, observatory as well as inside with telescopes that you know anybody can come up and look uh, look at the uh, at the event going on in the sky so that that'll be fantastic to have that available as well we're gonna have a solar system walk so as you're waiting for the solar eclipse to happen you can take a walk through the solar system and uh, so we'll have all of those set up it'll be a nice way to, to walk things off and get up and stretch as we're waiting for the big event you guys have it all figured out here and I, I know we're talking a lot about all of the events taking place but I want to get more into the science behind this right now so I believe Steve's waiting for me mm -hmm. from the Black River Astronomical Society, and I'm yep. going to go in and uh, really get an idea of what we can expect. Perfect. Sound good? Okay, let's do this. Just the man I'm looking for. Hi, Hi. Steve. Hi. Nice, Natalie, to meet nice to you. meet you. So nice to meet you. And these are your friends. These are my I friends. Hear. This is John Rising, our instrumentation specialist, and this is our vice president, Mike Garrett. How many people make up this wonderful society? There's about 50 of us. 50. Um, more people show up than that, but about 50 paid members. So. And I love hearing more about the science of what we're going to experience on Monday. So the, the sun I hear is pretty active right now. Is that true? Yes. There's a 14-year uh, cycle on the sun where for seven years it gets very active and then for seven years it kind of settles down and then it gets active again. Right now it's just about at its peak. So there are a lot of sunspots. If you have the kind of telescope, which is a hydrogen alpha telescope, that will show solar prominences, which people call them solar flares. They're actually flares when they detach from the sun. Ah. They're prominences when they're on the sun. Now this picture that you have over here. Yes. That would, would that be a good indicator of what potentially could happen? That we this could picture, see? This picture, yes. During totality, that's the only time you can see this corona, this ghostly white uh, corona. It cannot be seen during a partial eclipse. It cannot be seen at any other time. When the sun is active, like now, the scientists are thinking, they're predicting anyway, that instead of being sort of around the sun, it may be spiked out like this. This is the outer atmosphere of the sun that normally, because the sun is so bright, you can't see it. Interesting. But if it gets very spiky, these are these spikes are caused by the magnetic field of the sun. So we, if if we're out here that day, yes, there are going to be the telescopes in here. There's ones that will be out in the field as well. They'll be out here on these concrete pads. And and some of them are this guy's. This is the Mike's collection. Um, Mike will be bringing at least three telescopes, Mike, or four. Three. Three. Okay, Mike will okay. be bringing three. And may I ask, what happens if it's a cloudy day? If it's a cloudy day, uh, you will still experience the eclipse. It won't be the same experience, but it will, it will be an experience. If it's cloudy, it's already overcast. When we hit totality, it could get really dark. You may not know what you're going to see, what you're going to hear, what you're going to feel on Monday, but this would be a really cool place to come with these experts and experience it, I must say. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Natalie. We I need to look into one of these here. telescopes now. Is that these okay with you? <laughs> yes, these gentlemen have a solar filter on this scope. All right, I'm going to go. And you can see the sun. I'm going to learn more. Oh, wow.